Hi folks, I'm Rob White. This is Challenge Physio and that is a model of your spine. Let's use it quickly just to understand a bit more about how each level of your spine is designed to move. Start at the top and at your neck. The neck alignment allows for great extension. Your head can lean right back. It also allows for good flexion. You have good space at the front of the throat for your neck to bend forwards. Importantly, the way the alignment of the vertebra are in the neck, it allows for good rotation. You can twist a lot at the neck as well. Move down the spine into your middle back, your thoracic spine. See how the angle of the vertebra start to change from that angle in the neck, starting to point down. That means extension. You leaning back is limited because the vertebra touch each other. Likewise, into flexion, you're restricted because of your rib cage at the front. The best movement to occur at the thoracic spine, the middle back, is rotation. They are angled downwards so they can rotate well on each other. Look then into your lower back and see how the space in the vertebra gets bigger. That means you can have good extension. You should be able to lean right the way back in your lower back. You can bend forwards and you can bend forwards well in the lumbar spine, depending on your abdominal cavity, your stomach. Your stomach is gonna be the main block to you bending further forwards. But importantly, and to help you understand low back pain, look at the way that the vertebrae glide on each other here and here either side, the facet joints. They actually contact each other. They are aligned against each other, which means rotation at your lower back is very limited. I'm gonna explain more about why that contributes to your low back pain, why it is therefore other areas in your body are likely to be causing your low back pain. That's gonna come up in the future videos. If you need to get in contact in the meantime, there are details along the bottom of this video. Please do so, we'd love to hear from you. See you in the next one.